What's the best type of screen protector for the iPhone 10? It's going to be a 3D edge to edge tempered glass screen protector. Now the key will say phrase in that product name is 3D, not two and a half D, not full cover. It has to be 3D edge to edge tempered glass screen protectors. Now on the flip side, if you're a person who likes to use their iPhone au naturel without a case or with one of the ultra thin cases, then that, that one screen protector, the 3D tempered glass screen protector that's edge to edge isn't gonna work out for you and I'll tell you why in a couple of minutes. Now I've come to this conclusion after using several different screen protectors on the iPhone 10 over the last several weeks. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why my recommendation for screen protectors for the iPhone 10 is different than the iPhone 8s and 7s and 6 and so on. I'm gonna go through the three different types of screen protectors Protectors that I've used and why they don't work well or do work well with the iPhone 10. Real usage, real reviews. Mobile reviews, eh? .ca. At Mobile Reviews A, Monty and I base all our reviews on what the product actually says on the box because, you know, companies that produce marketing fluff, they have to be trustworthy, right? So we're just going to regurgitate that marketing slew and create a video out of it. I'm kidding. We don't do that. Everything that we do is based on us actually using the products and we've gone through a lot of products uh, over the last few years, especially when it comes to screen protectors. Now I've done a lot of stuff with screen protectors, so if you need the full story on say plastic versus glass or the different types of plastic screen protectors, do check out those videos. Links are in the description section. Uh, so why has my recommendation for the iPhone 10 changed over the 8? Well, the iPhone 10 handles differently than the 8 or basically any other iPhone. With previous iPhones, there was a bezel, so your fingers never spent a lot of time along the edges of the screen. And when it came to screen protectors, your fingers never really had to do anything along along the edge except to access multitasking. Now gestures on the iPhone 10 requires you to spend way more time swiping at the edges of your screen. You have the home gesture, which kind of moves for games, which is fun. Uh, you have the app switching gesture as well as the multitasking gesture. These, these gestures coupled with the almost edge to edge uh, OLED screen uh, means your fingers will feel everything along the edge of your iPhone. With that in mind, let's talk about the first type of screen protector, which is barely covers the whole OLED screen ones. Now, I consider these to be the standard screen protector for any sort of device. Now, if you've watched some of my previous screen protector videos, you'll know that I'm very fond of the uh, Patchworks ITG silica glass, as well as a Rhino Shield impact protection. But for the iPhone 10, I don't feel as strongly about these products. Why? Because these screen protectors are quite thick and come cover almost the entire OLED screen. These two characteristics will increase how noticeable the edges are with all the gesturing on the iPhone 10 that you will do. As you can see in the video, the edges of the screen protector are going to get incredibly annoying over time. Now, despite these flaws, if you do need amazing protection for your iPhone screen, both these products will would be my go-to recommendation as they can definitely take a beating. If you need more info, I've done full detailed reviews for these products. So just find them on my channel. Now, now, I did get one of the Belkin screen protectors from the Apple Store, and that kind of product falls into this category as well. This is one of the pricier screen protectors that I've gotten over the last uh, while, but there are a couple of benefits over the Impact Shield as well as the ITG cell kit glass. First of all, the screen protector extends slightly past the OLED screen which is something I can't say for the other two. Second of all, it's actually very, very thin and has a two and a half D edge, which means that it's not as noticeable. You'll know that it's there, but it doesn't feel sharp like the other screen protectors. The last benefit is the fact that you can professionally have it installed at the Apple store. The entire setup to install the screen protector at Apple is quite simple, but there is a custom piece of hardware that allows for a perfect install. I will note that the ratings on the Apple store aren't as great as you'll notice people complaining that the uh, screen protector breaks after a couple of days. I've been using this for about five. Screen protector is fine. And again, it's glass and glass does break. Now I understand people getting upset because you pay $50 for it and there's kind of no warranty. Uh, so if you are planning on breaking a screen protector, maybe consider getting one of these Ziza two packs from Amazon. Now the coverage is very similar to the Patchworks ITG, but it does have a two and a half D edge, so it won't be that noticeable. Installation isn't too bad as they do include a guide, but it's not perfect like the Apple installed product. Even with the installation guide, the top of the screen protector isn't fully aligned with the notch in the screen. This might annoy some people and you'll definitely notice it if I put a side by side a video comparison of the Belkin uh, screen protector compared to the Ziza one, but still not too bad. Kind of. Now onto the two and a half D edge to edge screen protectors. I went through three different products and they all handled in the same manner. Both products claim to have edge to edge screen protection. 
uh, though the ASR one is a little short on that claim in my opinion. From a gesture standpoint, they both handle very well, uh, but the edge is still there. From my understanding, a screen protector that doesn't follow the curve of the iPhone is considered a 2.5D screen protector. If you're actually very picky about your stuff in general, you will notice that extra tiny curve that doesn't follow the curve of your iPhone. I know I definitely did. Now I have a couple of gripes with these types of screen protectors. First of all, dust will collect along the edges of the screen protector. Why? Because there's actually no adhesive along the outside edge of the screen protector. Odd. Second of all, dust and debris will also collect around the true depth camera area. Now most products don't actually have an adhesive in this place. I do believe Apple specifications for screen protector says not to. Third of all, the marketing fluff on the products is pretty awful. Though the products are kind of cheap as I was actually fooled into thinking that this ESR one was actually a 3D screen protector but it actually ended up being a 2.5D. So boo earns for that. But 10 bucks, I can buy five of these for the cost of one of these Belkin things. Now another problem that creeps up with edge to edge screen protectors is the fit with other cases. I do get a lot of questions of, will this case fit with this edge to edge screen protector? And the question is very hard for me to answer because it depends on two things. It depends on the size of the glass, the edge to edge screen protector, as you just saw, they're two different sizes. And the second thing is how well you've installed it on your device. The smaller ESR one might work a little better with more cases compared to the other ones that I've used. In the second video clip, I am basically using the same ESR case between two different Spigen cases. One of them works, the hybrid armor works incredibly well with it, whereas, in the, whereas the rugged armor does not. It actually peels the screen protector off the iPhone. And it's the same iPhone. And the only problem that I've noticed is that, well, the top of the screen protector is off by about half a millimeter. So being off by that little tiny amount will make a difference. Now I am working on trying to figure out what's the best way to install a screen protector, so do stay tuned for that video. Now the majority of these 2.5D edge to edge screen protectors uh, will be quite cheap if you get them off of Amazon. If you're wondering if there's a big difference between the $10 screen protector and the $40 screen protector, I do recommend you check out the everything you need to know about screen protectors video. Now onto 3D edge to edge screen protectors. On this iPhone 10, I've got a Patchworks 3D cover, and as you can see, it follows the curve of the iPhone perfectly. It's very hard to notice the edge of the screen protector on a day day basis even though if you look very closely there is a bit of a gap but the edge from that gap isn't that noticeable. I didn't notice screen protector during my gesturing and for the most part worked with most of the cases I had for the iPhone 10. I use this screen protector for all the product shots in my best speaking case for the iPhone 10 and as I mentioned before it's hard to install these screen protectors. Again this three patchworks 3D cover was probably one of my best attempts at installing a screen protector by using with no tools on the iPhone 10 and I was still out by a tiny bit along the top and bottom of the device. Device. I will note that this adhesive on the screen protector isn't great and this will actually happen every once in a while and it doesn't have to be a cheap screen protector for this to happen. Um, anytime that you put too much pressure or bend the glass screen protector you'll end up with uh, these bubbles. So to sum it all up, basically the more glass you can throw on top of your iPhone 10 screen the better off you'll be because you won't feel the edge of the screen as much. The only downside is that it might not work with a bunch of cases and the dust and debris is gonna get a little grubby after a while. Now at the beginning of the video, I mentioned that if you like to use your iPhone with minimum protection, then you go with the first type of screen protectors, the ones that barely cover the screen. Or if you got cash to burn, you get the Belkin one and have somebody at Apple install it. Most cases have a lip that protects the edge to edge screen protectors from peeling away. However, if you've noticed in this video, most edge to edge screen protectors don't sit flush against the edge of the iPhone. So there is a bit of gap, which means there's a higher chance that it will peel away. With a normal screen protector, you basically eliminate that chance that you're gonna lose your screen protector in your everyday activity. Sure, you don't get as much protection as certain parts of your iPhone will be exposed a tiny bit more, but the chance of something actually making an impact along the edge where there is a glass screen protector and no glass is very, very minimum. And if you've been using your iPhone without much protection, I'm assuming that you're gonna be very, very good with your device anyways. If you're finding this video useful, do consider getting all your screen protectors through my Amazon links. None of these companies sponsored me to do any of these uh, videos or break any of the products that I have. Uh, so any help will be extremely uh, appreciated by Monty and I guess I'll be pretty grateful as well. Uh, basically you could use the links to get anything at it on Amazon as long as you use that link and then search for something else. It doesn't really matter. You don't have to get the screen protectors with it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down there. If this is the first time you're watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. Uh, that's kind of all I got. Thanks for watching.